Last time we took a look at setting up a Unify network from scratch, basically all of the gear straight out of the box to show you what that looks like. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Unify Protect and Unify Access in a very simple way for a home style network setup. We're using quite a few bits of kit here, so stay tuned because it's about to get interesting. But one thing I've got to make clear is I'm not going to be showing you absolutely everything because this is for a real world deployment. This is not a lab setup. This is for somebody's house. So let's dive in. So the first thing we will want to do is set up, protect and access on your Unify device. So if you haven't seen that setup, we're using a UDM Pro Max. You want to log into your Unify account, select the device on your network. So this is just a basic overlay of what this setup looks like. We're then going to click settings. We will then want to click on the control plane and then it gives us a bunch of options. We'll want to install both protect and access. So we'll just wait for these to install and then we'll do each of these individually. What's going to happen is essentially this is like installing containers like Docker, if that's what you're familiar with. And that's how this all runs. It's a very, very clever way of doing it. Starting off with Unify Protect. Once Protect is installed, you'll then see a new tab at the top next to the network tab. Click on that and we'll go through the Unify Protect setup from scratch. So basically click the dashboard and it's going to be like, hey, you have nothing going on here. That is by design. We need to set up the two drives that we have installed into the UDM Pro Max first. So we're going to click settings, click storage manager, and it's already set up the drive for us. So we don't need to do anything, but you can click manage storage to then set up how it's going to operate. Now, this will basically work in a RAID 1 setup. And essentially, it's scrubbing and resilvering this as a RAID 1 array. Ubiquity did supply two HDST or they're also WD enterprise drives for this, both eight terabyte drives. So shout out to Ubiquity for that. In fact, Ubiquity uh, sent us everything for this entire setup. So shout out to Ubiquity for being absolute legends and supporting the creators of content like me right here. Okay. So obviously I'm not going to be waiting over 12 hours for this to happen. And I will be powering off the console. Just deal with it. We'll just reformat it once I get it to where it needs to go. Okay, let's start off with adopting some cameras. I've got two cameras to adopt for this setup and I'm just gonna show you how to do that really quickly. It's super duper easy. But in saying that, there is some network trickery that we need to do first. Let's set that up so you can get a bit of an understanding of what I'm talking about. So in the previous video, I set up a bunch of VLANs for stuff like security and cameras. So what we're going to do is head over to network. We're then going to click on the ports tab and we can see all of the devices that allow us to map ports on the USW Pro Max 24 PoE. I'm going to select some ports here that I know that I'm going to plug devices into and we're going to allocate those ports for the security and cameras VLAN. So port 16, 15 and 14. I'm going to allocate those right now to security and cameras. I hit apply changes and these ports are now good to go. So what we're going to do now is plug in some cameras into those three ports or one of those three ports. And when we adopt them, it'll put those in the IP range for those cameras. I hope this is all making sense to you guys. We're going to set up two devices here. We're going to set up one of these, which is the G4 doorbell and also one of the new Unify G6 cameras. These ones came out maybe two days ago. Let's uh, start off with this one because this is the easiest to configure. What we're going to do is uh, some magic with some PoE. I'm going to plug this in. Ready? Going to power the camera up and we'll give it a second to boot up and then we'll adopt it. So the way this will work is We'll go back over to Unify Protect. Now, when we click Unify Devices, you'll see that the bullet has come up in Unify Protect and it has the IP address from that IP range that we set for cameras and security. We click Adopt. And then this will just do a firmware update and then that's it. 
So we're going to enable smart detection here. We'll do this because this is something we will be using for this setup. And that's it. It's doing a software update and it's going to record in 4K. We'll just wait for that to do its update. And, and that's, that's that. Next up, we're going to set this up, which is the G4 doorbell. While we're at it, I'm going to adopt this AI turret that I have as well, which is another one of the cameras that he's got. And it's adopting and doing that too. Every time it does it, it makes this beeping sound like a doorbell chime. <laughs> to set up this doorbell that we've got here, we need to use the Unify Protect app on your phone. This works on both iOS and Android. So I'm going to pop this open. I'm not going to show this because like I mentioned, uh, it, it's got a couple sensitive things. So it says there's a new doorbell found. Uh, I'll hit adopt on my phone. And it's, it's just going to do the thing. Right, and with a bit of luck, we should be able to see something very funny. You can see on the live camera view that <laughs> this is what it looks like. Hey, it's me. I'm gonna, I'm ringing the doorbell. Ring, ring. Hey, yeah, it works. Yeah, cool. I can ring the doorbell and whatnot. But what we're going to do now is set up access, which will set up some access control for all of this stuff. I do have another bit of kit for gate access, but because it's, we need to hardwire that in, I'm not going to cover that in this video. And I will talk more about that in the full deployment video over on gear seekers. But for now, um, we're just going to quickly set up access. So we click set up on access. We've already installed it. So we'll go, I agree to the terms of service for this. And then it'll be like, Hey, there's no devices found yet, which is fine because we are going to quickly adopt the uh, security setup for this. I've plugged in the Door Hub Mini. This is one of their new Unify devices. And I've also plugged in the card reader. So if you've got a key fob or an NFC card or something like that, you can use this for building and door and gate access. So yeah, we'll, we'll just get this adopted quickly. So. You'll also see now that the card reader is also here too. So we'll click adopt. I'll just wait for these to update and then we're essentially done. And then you can see how it all is configured. If you pay close attention, you'll notice that the VLAN setup is the same VLAN that we have set up for all security and camera devices. And finally, we can adopt the card reader. We'll just wait for that to adopt and then It'll allow us to use touch pass on your iPhone or your Google wallet with your Android phone. It's got two included key fobs, but I won't get into that right now. I won't, I won't configure them yet. This does allow you to set up a card inventory so you can buy NFC cards for this. You can use your phone. You can have visitors as well. Uh, it's very, very cool. But in terms of the entire setup for this, because of the way that we're setting this up, I won't go into how all of this works. But again, this is a very interesting setup because what it will do is it will give you status of the door. So it will tell you if the door's open or closed and how many times it's been opened and closed and all of that kind of stuff too. This is going to be installed on a gate and this access panel will allow us to be able to connect NFC cards to the doorbell as well. So there is that very, very cool setup. Basically, anytime I want to go to my dad's house, I can just hold my phone up to his doorbell or his card reader and just walk into his house whenever I want. I'm sure he will love me doing that. When this is fully deployed, I will show you how this works in the Gear Seekers video. I'll add a link to the description whenever that video is live, but as the time of filming this, I haven't even deployed any of this gear yet. So come back or I'll do a community post or whatnot when the other video goes live. I know it's confusing. Running two channels is, is a whole thing, but that's going to wrap it up for this video. Special thanks to Ubiquity for sending all of this gear over. Absolute legends. This video isn't technically sponsored by Ubiquity, but as I said, they did send over everything. And we have Unify and Ubiquity store affiliate links in the description down below if you're looking at getting any of this stuff for yourself. And that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed this. Happy networking, happy security, and happy protecting.